Hello. Uh, Incineroar is my best friend this match. Just gonna put that out there. And they really, really hate uh, Incineroar, Necrozma, Politoed. I think for my last mon, I'm sort of stuck between Bulu and Zapdos. The reason I wouldn't bring Kingdra here is because Kingdra just gets hard walled by a couple of Pokemon, especially the two fairies in the team. Zapdos might be nice for like Sash switch ins and such, um, but it's definitely not something I want to lead off with. I mean, I could go Incineroar Zapdos on lead and it wouldn't be the end of the world. I could also possibly go for a taunt. And I don't want to bring the Bulu because it just gets destroyed by everything. Let me try... I'm going to try Incineroar Zapdos because it could spiral really, really quick. If they end up leading off with their own Incineroar. And I'm going to bring Politoed Necrozma, of course. Alright, let's do it. No, oh, that's the wrong full screen. Go away. There we go. Uh, how's everyone doing tonight? 39 viewers, nice. Trying to get back to consistently streaming. Alright, alright, that's not that bad, that's not that bad. Um, Luckily for me, I can actually do something kind of nice here. There's no way they trick room, like, ever. Or, not trick room, there's no way they follow... What am I saying? There's no way they attack ever, they always trick room, right? They're gonna follow me. I don't know why I couldn't get, like, that sentence out of my mouth. Um, but what I can do here is I can actually keep the Sash on my Zapdos, assuming that they don't Trick Room. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for a... I don't want a Parting Shot yet. I'd like to Parting Shot next turn. I'm gonna go for a Snarl here. Because if they are Weakness Policy, I can proc it early. And it'd be at minus one, which is kind of nice. They aren't wider, right? I didn't see a wider go off. No, okay, cool. They're at minus one. They were Psychic Surge, or they were Psychic whatever on the Indeedee, and I can taunt here to prevent the next follow me, and then switch into my uh, Necrozma Dust main, hard walling them, and go for a parting shot. I really hope you're not weakness policy. So now they can't follow me, and I can parting shot to my heart's content next turn. Don't be weakness policy. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. That's not great. Um, They can't KO me, though, because they're only at plus one? No, that's not how that works. Um, Can I live this? They can't... I don't think they can KO me from this range. It's probably much safer just to go into Politoed here and protect... And then double back into my Incin. Taitoki, how you doing? How's the stream been going? Just tuned in. Uh, we just started. I lost my first match. So now I'm like rank 800 instead of 600. So the reason I'm going into Politoed here is he can definitely take a hit. Um... At least with, like, the Citrus Berry and stuff. Don't be Torkoal. Okay, Finny, that's fine. So, best case scenario, they Glacial Lance here, because I take, like, nothing. Worst case scenario, they have High Horsepower, which still isn't that bad. Yeah, Glacial Lance, that's fine. Oh, okay, they can also just crit me right there. I feel like I always get crit by Calyrex Ice. I feel like that's just like an inevitable fact of playing against Calyrex Ice. Okay, uh, for that reason, I'm going to go into Cross Dust Main on that slot, and I'm going to go into my Incineroar on this slot. <sighs> Dang, that sucks. Okay. I would have taken like nothing from that. Or at least I would have taken, like, I would have been at, like, 60 health. 60%, I mean. I have some fake-out pressure, which they have to respect. Um, and instead of respecting it, 
Or I guess I think they're definitely going to respect the fake out pressure, so they're going to probably protect the Calyrex or switch out. Um, so what I'd like to do here is I'd like to fake out the Finny. Oh god, please miss. Okay. Please, like, don't do too much Necrozma. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fake out the Finny here. And I'm going to Swords Dance, because I think they have to respect the Necrozma for the rest of the match. Especially with, like, fake out and stuff. They could also go into the Lele, or into the, um... They could also go into the freaking Indeedy, which is kind of annoying. I'm just going to go for the Sunsteel Strike, and I'm going to Parting Shot as well. Okay, okay, that's fine, yeah. And I can go right into Politoed, um, which will allow him to eat his berry since the Calyrex is off the field. Alright, good damage, good damage. Kind of wish I parting shot at the Finny, but it wasn't safe. They could still miss. Alright, they connect. And I get the accuracy drop. That's not great. How do I play out of... Double accuracy drop. How do I play out of this? One would assume they'd follow me here. I can try this. It's not safe at all. Scald should KO from this range if I can connect it. But I kind of have to like stall out Trick Room and then I have a chance with Necrozma. And that's like granted I can play fake outs correctly. But Necrozma was supposed to carry this game. <laughs> then he kind of put a wrench in that. They withdraw. That's not bad. That's not that bad. Especially if I get the KO on this thing. Yeah, I think this KOs. Nice. Do you guys still prefer two restricted instead of one when playing VGC? Um, I like to restrict it's mainly because it allows for more flexibility with team building more options never really hurt anyone that's the best way to put it uh but also you know i think one restricted is fine i think it's been a, a pretty cool experience just playing vgc like this okay so they can only really fake out still how many turns of trick there's no turns of trick room left trick room ended they can only fake out uh zapdos here so i can detect and i kind of have to hope for a burn if they fake out the polytoad and throw I'd be really upset because I could have actually like I, I could have actually like gone for like a, a close combat there or a taunt. Burn. No burn. Or are we under Misty Terrain? I'm stupid. No no that's definitely that's definitely psychic. Rain stops, that's fine. Uh they don't have Torkoal, which means Polytoad's just kinda eh in this matchup. I can go back into Incineroar. Which is going to be my best friend from now on. I'm going to go for a Protect. Force Gaming, thanks for the follow.
And Sinner is about to carry this match on his back. I should do like nothing. Yeah, the switch now supports Bluetooth audio. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. All right, so Finney's about to hit the field. That means How can I do this? I could parting shot the Finney. I actually don't even know if they would like stay in with the with the Calyrex here. I'm going to do this. I'm definitely slower than this Finny. I can try to go for like a Scald Burn. Oh no, I can't. I straight up can't. Um. You know what? Let's go for it. We're only at minus one. Let's go for it, dude. <laughs> it's pretty much like we lose regardless if we don't go for it. Glacial Lance, I'm going to survive that. I wonder if Polly survives. I don't think he does. Yeah, he could have earlier in the game if he didn't get crit. Killing Nay. I definitely lose now, by the way. Ah, that did KO. Nice. All right, so we're 0 and 2 right now. We're probably going to drop to like rank 1000, which is a little disappointing because we were doing so well yesterday. So what are we? are like 16 wins, 5 losses now. So our ratio is not getting quite as good, but that's to be expected at this point on the ladder. Oh, I do have the Necrozma and the Zapdos. I forgot Zapdos was still alive, to be honest. For some reason, I thought I was down. This actually isn't unwinnable. This isn't unwinnable. It's obviously not ideal, but it's not unwinnable. Bootleg Flanders, how you doing? How many turns of Trick Room? Two turns, yeah. That does that plus one. I don't have protect. I don't have protect. Um, I mean, obviously, Sunsteel Strike is ideal here. I need a double protect to win, I think. Or a double detect. If they, they should fake out the Zapdos. They don't. Okay, that kind of sucks. That was like my only out. Oh, wait, no, this is doable. This is doable. This is doable. All right, check this out. Sunsteel Strike the Finny should put it in range of plus one uh, Brave Bird. And I am Focus Ash, and they should target Necrozma with their Incineroar. So I should be able to get a close combat off. And then I might be able to win just barely. Because Trick Room ends next turn. I need this to go perfect. Oh, oh, they threw so hard. They threw so hard right there. They have no idea how hard they just threw. They don't even know how hard they just threw. I'm focus sesh, dude. I'm focus sesh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. You forgot. You for gore. Oh, okay. We're good. We win. We win. The only way they win is accuracy drop now. We're at like maximum attack. They should have like parting shotted the... Oh, we, and we also avoid... All right, don't lower my accuracy. Oh God, that's a lot of unneeded stress. That's a lot of unneeded stress now. <laughs> All right, Zapdos, just you just gotta connect one more, bud. Just just do it one more time. He's got yeah paid actors, but still the the accuracy drop. The accuracy drop isn't isn't very poggers. Um, they kind of have to moonblast now. 
Yeah, they kind of have to Moonblast now, so I could do this. This is technically ideal. Even if they get recovery, it's not like- They just forfeit! Yes! <laughs> Paid actors! Paid actors! Alright, to be fair, um... Alright, ooh... <laughs> I really hate facing Eternatus with this team. Necrozma technically has a positive matchup, but I'm going to show you something. I foregore to PP up. <laughs> we have a total of 15 moves, which is like three versus Necrozma. <laughs> All right. Uh, versus this team, Rain looks absolutely crazy. Like, actually. Like, I can lead off like Kingdra... They have an Intimidator? They don't have an Intimidator. Uh, they have a Fake Out Mon, obviously. I can lead off Kingdra and Necrozma, and that'll sort of scare him out. Politoed in the back isn't bad. And I think my last Mon sort of has to be Incineroar. So no Bulu in this matchup. We haven't used Bulu yet today. I think we used him for, like, one game. But typically, Bulu is, like, coming to Shadow Rex matchups, like, 80% of the time. If not 100 Yeah, Mammoth Swine's kind of scary, but I'm not terribly scared of it. Do we one-shot uh, Eternatus with Draco Meteor? I feel like we do. If not, we can Helping Hand it. I don't feel like running that Calc. The Sash is likely on the Mammoth Swine. If it isn't like Life Orb, it's probably Sash, since AV is typically something you see on um, Rillaboom. I need to get, like, a stream deck. There are so many things I need to get for my stream setup. I just don't. Okay, okay. Mammo. It's definitely, like, screens shenanigans, then. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna drop a Muddy Water. If they have Fake Out, they have Fake Out. It's whatever, but this feels safe. Thanks for the follow, Unknown. This feels safe. And if they go for screens, it's whatever. They likely went for like a high horsepower in a Necrozma anyways. Like Necrozma threatens them so much. You see, the trick to beating the Eternatus is to click Swords Dance on their Protect and then just one-shot them. Oh, Shizzle. They T-Wave me, that's fine. I should still outspeed this thing and likely one-shot it. Kingdra, don't you dare get fully paralyzed. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Swag. There's the Sash. Expected. High horsepower? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, high horsepowered. Um Probably gonna get ice sharded. I can protect here. And I'm just gonna go for a scald. The reason I'm scalding here is cause if they were to ice shard, it would be now. Like now is the time to ice shard. I guess it would have been safer to go into like my incinerator there. Because, you know, I could have gotten fully paralyzed. That's fine, that's fine. Next turn, I'll do that. This is still fine. Once Mammoth Swine's gone, I feel so much more comfortable with the game. I'm going to go into Incin here because I don't see them high horsepowering. I think they're going to Ice Shard. And then I get Fake Out Pressure next turn. And the worst thing that could happen is, like, they fully paralyze my Politoed this turn. Ice Shart, yeah. <laughs> Ice Shart. Please give me Mammoth Swine. I'd really love that. I think they're gonna Ice Shard. There it is. Don't you dare fully paralyze my Politoed. He is my son. Cool, cool. They spirit broke. Foul play, that's fine too. 
That's fine too, that does like nothing. They were trying to predict Necrozma. If they go into the uh, Necrozma, or not the Necrozma, the Eternus, I want to actually... No, okay, it's you. That's fine. Got some fake out pressure for him, that's cool, that's cool, that's fine, that's phenomenal, that's baller, that's augers. Um, one would assume they're going to fake out the Incineroar, but y you know, in case they don't, this is just like a free scald. Yeah, no, that's a free scald. If I get a burn on that guy or just straight up KO him, that'd be great. Hollytoad, burn him now. No? Okay. Luckily for me, I can just, like, Flare Blitz. I could Helping Hand a Flare Blitz, technically, but that's really unsafe. Like, really, really, really unsafe. Like, so unsafe, I'm definitely not going to do it right now. Ooh, wait, check this out. Check out this power play. He's not going to do it again. He's not going to do it again. Oh, wait, no. Sack the Kingdra. Get in the Necrozma for free. Big brain play. Sack the Kingdra. Get in the Necrozma for free. And then next turn, I go for fake out, um, fake out Trick Room, and then I win. Or even fake out, like, anything. All right, KO my Kingdra. That should do it. Beautiful. You know they brought Eternatus. You know that they were not comfortable enough to not bring Eternatus to this match. Show me the Eternatus. You know you want him. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Um, so a lot of you might be thinking Moxie Marcos boosted. Um, you should go for Trick Room right here. And to that I say, no, there's no point. Uh, he can, like, Thunder Wave paralyze me, and it would be a lot worse than... Like, I, I have to get rid of this thing right now, right now, pretty much. Like, the, the, the Grim Snarl is just too annoying for me. If he does switch out the Grim Snarl this turn, 100% next turn I'm going to Trick Room, but this turn, I'm just going to fake out Sunsteel Strike, because it should be in range. And most Grim Snarl don't run Protect. And also... Eternatus is doing no types of damage to Necrozma. Moxie Marcos boosted. Yeah, no, that's that's the that's the name I'm going by now. All right, um, and nothing really switches into this. Really, I'm gonna fake out as well. <laughs> this is this is gonna be bad. I need you to, like, attempt a foul play. I just need you to, like, attempt it. And if he doesn't, next turn, I'm just going to go ahead and go into Politoed and Trick Room, and I probably still win. They do withdraw. They do withdraw. That's fine. That is fine. Oh, they're Meteor Beam. Um, He's at minus one, so I live this, like, every time. Yeah, it's just a neutral hit, and my Incinera is at, like, full health. Oh, wait, what am I saying? Why did I think I was at full health? What am I actually saying right now? Alright, um, what am I saying? <laughs> How many turns of Grassy Trainer left? Did he just reset it? I have to double check. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to protect here in Trick Room. Necrozma can still win with some smart swords dancing. I wish I Trick Room now. Yeah, there's two turns of Grassy Train left, so I can Trick Room now and go for my Protect. Necrozma really shouldn't be doing, like, any damage to anything right now. That's fine.
I always go for the double here. There's no point not going for the double. Dang, I wish I trick room now. Dear Pokemon, please give me this one double. I will never ask for anything again, I swear. I'm going to ask for a lot more. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm going to ask for so much luck in the future. But this is the one I need right now. This is the luck I need right now, right now. It's a 30% chance, man. 30% every time. If Politoed can burn, I can get my Trick Room. Politoed hasn't burned this game, so I gotta get the Trick Room and the Protect. Politoed, you're worthless. I'm throwing you out. Um... Flamethrower shouldn't do, like, anything. Why? Why? <laughs> I didn't get my Scald burn, but you can get a freaking Flamethrower burn? Uh, it's not the end of the world. I would say that likely they're gonna switch out the... the Rillaboom here, and I can Swords Dance. So I didn't get that, but they got the burn. That was winnable. I'm just going to put that out there. This was totally winnable. I'm going to Swords Dance here. They're going to, like, U-turn or some BS. Arbok, how you doing? Alright, they didn't protect. There's the U-turn. I thought they would protect there. I guess they don't have protect. Why does that do so much? These matches have been kind of rough today. Does your computer work? Yeah, I'm, I'm back on the normal PC. Yeah, this was totally winnable before the burn. Obviously, I Sunsteel Strike here. I could have won so much earlier if I went for that Trick Room, but I really thought they were going to go for, like... I thought they would just stay in and, like, try to paralyze me. That was still... I guess that, that makes sense that they're doing that. Is now a good time to claim my showdown match? I wouldn't say right now. I really want to, like, just ladder right now and do my best to, like, not drop below 800. Yeah, no. Before the burn, this is totally winnable. Alright, that's a forfeit. Unfortunately, that's a forfeit. What are we at? We're going to be like back at 800, I think. Like 840. I really want to crack top 500 today. All right, let me take a look at that team. I did not look at their team. <laughs> I always forget when I have to click that. 903, dang it. Ooh, Dialga. They have so many things that just absolutely stuff Necrozma. Like, an unnecessary amount. <laughs> they also completely hate Zapdos, though, so that's fun. Let's do this. I, I see literally no reason to bring the Necrozma to this match. I guess I could, like, make a reason. I don't need my Incineroar. I could bring Necrozma as, like, my last one. Because, like, I don't get much out of Bulu or Incineroar either in this match. I can just do this. Like, I'm not going to be carried by Necrozma. I'm going to be carried by them making a really bad lead. And I suppose by bringing to Krozma, I do threaten a counter Trick Room on.
Hey, thanks for the follow. Good luck on the ladder tonight, dude. Thank you, Bay Bem. I think that's how it's pronounced. Bay Bem. Ooh. They're not gonna like how this goes. So what I can do here, um, is I can just protect on the on the fake out because they should always fake out the. I would say they always fake out the Zapdos. It's just so free. Loveless VGC. It's me, the mod with the fattest ass. Uh, and I'm gonna go into Necrozma. Thank you for the bit. Because they should be going for fake out Trick Room here, and then they're gonna regret it. Because I'm gonna Swords Dance like immediately. Like, literally immediately. Like, they won't have time to react. <laughs> if they Draco Meteor, that'd actually be so much better. Did they just Protect? Did I just see Protect Rillaboom? Hello? Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. Okay. Um. I'm gonna Swords Dance here. I could try to go for, like, close combat Photon Geyser, and that might KO Dialga, but I'm pretty scared to do that. I'd like to keep Zapdos around, so... I'm actually gonna go into Politoed. I'm gonna Swords Dance. Assuming they, like, U-turn out of there. Like, I... Straight up looking at a Protect Rillaboom. That's crazy. So, what are they, like, Miracle Seed? They gotta be, like, Miracle Seed. There's the U-turn, nice. Doesn't do too... Their life orb. If they Earth Power me, I'm going to be so disappointed. Landorus, that's fine. Landorus doesn't like this either. Yeah, uh, I'm going to double down the Landra slot. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Scald plus um, Photon Geyser. Because that catches like everything. I don't think they have a resist for uh, Psychic beyond the Dialga. Let me double check though. Uh, Yeah, Photon Geyser is my safest bet. Because it does like the same to everything. As they withdraw. Hit on top. I'll take it. I'll take it. Getting rid of Rillaboom early is going to be really great for me. That's just a one shot too. Making it like a, a burn on this Dialga. That did a lot. Did I crit? Yeah. Burn? Nah, never lucky. Draco's gonna do, like... I'm gonna live that, for sure. Politoed's crazy. Yeah. Eat your berry, bro. Eat your berry, king. Eat your berry, king. There was no way Lando protects. If you have Av If you don't have the AV on the Rillaboom, it's gonna be on the Lando. And Lando would have to be running, like... Especially offensive to do anything here. I also no longer fear Dialga, so whatever comes in, I'm, it's getting doubled into. Oh, it's Moltres! Hi, Moltres! How are you? Yeah, I'm doubling into this Moltres, like, every time. Botong, Bobon Bizer. Been to the Boltres. Bluss. Bald. You feel? And Photon plus Scald should pretty much always KO. Here's the Protect. Does Moltres protect as well? Moltres does protect, but I believe we still have a couple of turns of Trick Room for me. And they have like no defensive play for this combination. Except going into Lando and reducing the damage marginally. As I get more health back on my sons. 
And if you switch out anything here, it would be Dialga. Like, you get the most out of switching Dialga since you Dracoed last turn. This is the last turn Trick Room, right? Yeah. Photon Geyser doesn't make contact, so I don't have to worry about getting burned. Thank you the follow Dylan Meets World. But yeah, no, that's this is looking pretty good. Oh, they withdraw the Dialga. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? This is still KOing this Moltres, 100%. This is still 100% KOing the Moltres. Okay, cool. He didn't get the double. I was going to say, if I lost that last match because I didn't get the double and they win this match because they didn't have a double, or because they did get a double, I'd be, I'd be pretty disappointed. I get a crit, not that it mattered. Unless it was like AV Moltres, which it isn't because it protected, obviously, but still. Um, if we still have a turn of Grassy Train, there's literally no reason for me to switch out Necrozma. I'm just going to put that out there. No, grassy terrain. All right. Uh, I could still actually just stay in. I think the most important Pokemon on my side of the field right now to take care of is funny enough, Politoed. All right. Um. Do I actually just double? I'm gonna double the Lando. I'm just gonna double the Lando. I don't need a Trick Room. Trick Room actually hurts me in this situation. I can Sunsteel Strike as well. Trick Room actually hurts me here. As they forfeit, nice. Cool, cool, doing good, doing good. Now we are like 2-2. Two, two.